The topic for this morning is how do I walk in dominion? If it has been declared, it's our month of dominion, walking in dominion. And before I go into that, what is dominion? And I think you do know that there's a difference between dominion and domination. We are not created to dominate as it were. We are created to have dominion and let them have dominion. So one of the package of our redemption is dominion. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, let them be fruitful. Let them have dominion. What is dominion? Dominion is being in charge of the affairs of life. Be in charge of the affairs of life. What is dominion? Dominion is having it your ways. Always having it your own way. That centurion said, I am a man of authority. When I say go, he goes. When I say come, he comes. I myself am a man of authority. That is a man that knows his onions. Say, so you don't have to come to my house. Speak the word. That is dominion. What is dominion? Dominion is you being in command in your own area of endeavor. You are an accountant. You are in charge of that profession. It's my plan, it's my goal, it's my aspiration and my vision. When they ask if we are looking for the pastor, I will readily come to mind in our city. That is being in command in your area of endeavor. What is dominion? I, I mean, you, you know Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel. The Bible said they were ten times better. That their colleagues they were in charge they were having good time over the affairs of life and this is not just theoretical it's for real it's my prayer you will begin to experience your divine mandate Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. what is dominion dominion is you having authority to reign over the affairs of life. Revelation chapter 5, verses 9 and 10. So interesting. Revelation 5. And they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us. That's where you belong. By the blood. Out of every kindred, every tongue, every people, and every nation, he has redeemed us. Redemption has given us a platform for dominion. He has redeemed us from every nation if i begin to ask you now which nation you come from very many nations here bringing us together on the same platform so there is no redeemed that is disadvantaged You are from wherever you came from. It's no longer a disadvantage to you. Because you have been redeemed. My color 
It's no longer a disadvantage to me. Why? He has redeemed us from every nation. Something brings us to a commonality. Something brings us together. Redemption. So, no nation is superior to another in the kingdom. From every kingdom, every nation, every kindred, we have been redeemed. And verse 10, very beautiful. And has made us kings and priests. And we shall reign upon the earth. That's dominion, sir. And we, he has made us, not that he will make, he has made us kings and priests. Hear me, God's people. In the Old Testament, you can't be king and priest at the same time. Mm. Everybody has his own office. But by redemption, we have two purposes. Kings and priests. Unto our God. To do what? To reign. To reign. So if you are not reigning in your profession, you have a lot of work to do. If I'm not reigning in my marriage, there is an issue. There's something to do. He has redeemed us from the corruption of this world. Can I hear someone say amen? amen. Look at Daniel chapter 7, verse 27. I want us to go out from here with a dominion redemption mentality. Look at that scripture, Daniel 7, 27. And the kingdom and dominion. Number three, and greatness. Three in one, trinity. The kingdom, dominion, and the greatness in the kingdom of all the under the heaven shall be given to the people. Look at that. That is where that is your heritage. To the people. Look at that scripture. And all the saints of the most high. What you see that will be given to them? Kingdom will be given to them. Dominion is given to them. And greatness is given to them. Who out of who is he given? To the people of the saint of the most high. If you are part of the saint, kingdom minded people, I want you to shout hallelujah. What is it that is given you? Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Maybe not to you. Or to whom are these three components given? Kingdom is given. Unto you it is given the mysteries, the key to the mystery of the kingdom. Jesus said, to the mystery of the kingdom. And there is no king without a kingdom. He gave you kingdom. He didn't stop there. He gave you dominion. He didn't stop there. He gave you greatness along. So you can't end small. Amen. Mm. I said you can't end small. Amen. I said you cannot end small. Amen. No. Your DNA is greatness. Don't you know what God said about Jesus? The child, holy Jesus, shall be great. So the seed of greatness is in Jesus. And you know what he said, John 20, 20. As my father has sent me. Even so, I am sending you. So, his father sent him here great. So, if he sent him not the way he was sent, he must be great. Amen. It's a very simple equation. You must be great. Amen. As my father has sent me, even so, I am sending you. So, you may look small on the outside. You are not small on the inside. Amen. For greater is he that is in you. Amen. That he that is in the world. Now, the issue is that you can't carry the greater one and still be small on the outside. <laughs> you can't. Greater, fourth, 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 fourth. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Now, if he that is on your inside, the greater one, you will be too small to carry him. So you must be great enough to carry him. So carry yourself, somebody who is carrying the greater one. Because that is your mandate. This is our divine mandate. 
the kingdom is delivered dominion is delivered and greatness lift up your hands to heaven you will not end small Amen. every seed of smallness I destroy in the name of Jesus Mama, I destroy in the name of Jesus let the king in you arise let the giant in you arise you know what it says is there no king in you that is a king in you and only king has kingdom I decree that the king in you be emerged No king in you? Is there no king in you? You carry king. He is the king of kings. He has redeemed God as king of kings. We need to have this dominion mentality. You will walk tall in the midst of any circumstance of life. In the name of Jesus. So we look at a problem. You said this small potato. This small potato is a small potato yeah. because it's, the Bible calls it a little affliction. He's yeah. walking in me a far more eternal yeah. way of glory. Yeah. Persecuted but not abandoned. Hallelujah. So we know what we are talking about. I want you to carry this dominion mentality as you go to your class to do your exam. Walk tall. I say walk tall. Dominion and greatness. You will edge great. Amen. Listen, you can start small, you can't end small. For better is the end of a matter than the beginning thereof. Than the beginning thereof. How do we walk in dominion? That is the key thing. Because I'm I'm also aware that uh, if not really help me with this how do we walk in dominion i have three points quickly i want to share with you you must have a working relationship with god to exercise dominion over the affairs of life you must have a workable relationship with god to be able to have an exercise dominion. John 10 verse 27. Jesus speaking. My sheep hear my voice. I know them. I know them and they follow me. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, they know me. I know them, they know me and they follow me. So that is where dominion begins. Huh? I know my sheep when I say they hear they hear my voice I know them they know me that is the beginning of dominion among 10 children I mean I have four daughters if I move all of you out and I call one of their names when victory I say victory among many thousands, I will recognize her voice. I say, Faith! I know the way she will respond. Josephine! I know. Tolu! I know. You know why? We'll be together for a while. They can't miss that. They can't miss my voice. They can't miss it for anything. I know my sheep. They hear my voice. And they follow me. Now, the issue of followership is what determines the level of our dominion. Praise God. Hallelujah. How do we walk in dominion? Very quickly. Now let's go to Acts chapter 19. A new living translation. How do we walk in dominion? I want to show you a tragedy here. Acts chapter 19, verse 11 to 16. It's a very humorous story from scriptures. And God gave Paul the power to perform unusual miracles. When Hanka 
handkerchiefs and aprons that had merely touched his skin were placed on sick people. They were healed of their diseases and evil spirits were expelled. And that was an excitement to some people. Verse 13, a group of Jews, Jewish people, a group of them, was traveling from town to town casting out evil spirits. They tried to use the name of the Lord Jesus in their incantation. Mark that. They were trying to mimic what Paul did. They were trying to use the name of the Lord in their incantation process. You know what they said? Jesus, they say, I command you evil spirit in the name of Jesus whom Paul, not that we preach, whom Paul preaches. They love what they saw. That somebody will bring an handkerchief. I said, I can't go with you, but take my handkerchief. Lay it upon the sick. And the sick were healed. They said, What? I love this game. They said, Well, this is a good one. Now, they went out also trying to mimic what Paul did. And they saw some demon possessed fellows. They said, we command you in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. You know what I say? We don't have a relationship with Jesus, but Paul has a relationship with Jesus. So we are commanding you in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. Get out! Hallelujah. Now that verse of the scripture tells me that this guy, they call them the sons of Sceva. They were seven. seven. The sons of Sceva is what? They were sons of an high priest. A Jewish high priest for that matter. And as they were saying that, you know what? Let's read on. The next verse. But one of them, one time, when they tried it, the evil spirit replied, I know Jesus. I know Paul. But who are you? Who are you? What are you doing? You think we are just playing here? Who are you? I know Paul. I know Jesus. But what of you? Now, if the matter stopped there, you say, okay, that's fine. Let's see the next one. Then the man. With the evil spirit leaped on them, the pants on them, overpowered them, and attacked them with such a violence that they fled from the house, naked and battered. You know the problem? They had no relation with Jesus. And yet they want to do the work of we we know who you are. That's a very serious issue. That they will know who I am. That's serious. So it's not like Jesus who knows you. You know what he said? I know my sheep. So then we say, I know whose sheep they are. So this, this is where the real issue are. If the devil doesn't know me, I can pretend and make away with it. But this guy, he said, No. Who are you? You better know who you are. Christ consciousness again. You better know who. Come on. At one time. They were asking Elijah, are you, no, sorry, John, John the Baptist. They said, are you Elijah? He said, no. Are you Jesus? No. Are you Moses? No. Who are you? Tell us, we need to give answer to people that said us. You know what he said? I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. You better know who you are. Now, that answer was the end of our story. End of discussion. As if soon as he told them, they said, Jesus, where are you from? Are you from Seno? I'm from where? I'm from I need that is from above is above all. End of story, end of discussion. If you don't know who you are, and that is the problem of these guys, apart from the fact that they didn't have any working relation with Jesus, at least they could have said, We are sons of the high priest. 
but they couldn't say nothing and you see now with this you will understand why most time we call the name of jesus and he does not respond in the name of jesus that paul preaches many times we use that name and it's not as effective as it should be you know why he's saying i don't know who you are stop pretending i mean i don't know this name is called by people that have a relationship with jesus oh my goodness jesus made a profound statement in john i think john 20 verse 17 when jesus came out of the grave mary wanted to touch him he said no no don't touch me i must ascend to my father but you go and tell my brethren i'm going to my father <clears throat> i'm going to my father oh talk to me quiet i'm going to my father and your father i'm going to my god and your oh now this scripture changes my life that that god the father didn't love jesus more than me we are on the same platform. My father, your father. My God, your God. I think somebody will be happy to hear this. Yes, yes. That our father is not Jesus' father alone. He made this declaration. I go to my father. Not only that, he's your father. I'm going to my God and your God as well. So, whatever Jesus God I can get. In fact, can I say this? without any contradiction of scripture he loved you more than Jesus because he had to kill Jesus to save you he said if you don't let my son go I will kill you so that my son can go so all I'm telling you here is that it's not whatever Jesus did he did because of you you are redeemed to be a redemption to our God come on come on you are redeemed to be a redemption a savior shall emerge Obadiah 127 uh, 21 A savior shall emerge out of Zion You are not just Just after Jesus Jesus saved you so that you can be a savior A savior will emerge That is who you are I go to my father And your father I'm going to my God And your God No wonder he asked us when we should pray He said pray like this Our father who art in heaven so you must have a relationship with jesus for you to be able to exercise correct dominion so that you will not experience what the sons of the prophet or the sons of skiva experience when that guy began to kick them so you, you have no part in this Come, get out can i tell you George? we have the greatest form of hypocrisy in the church remove this mask my brother let's take off this this mask let's pull down this partition between us and go and we'll be walking greater dominion over our life ronald Reagan said in the 80s there was a middle war between uh, west germany and eastern germany and ronald Reagan said to gobachev of the soviet union then he said gobachev he said tear down this war break down this wall tear down this wall and he said as if nothing happened but today that wall is no longer in existence lift up your hands to heaven i decree over your life every middle wall of partition standing between you and your breakthrough standing between you at the end of this year standing between you and your vision i tear them down in the name of jesus Remove the mask. Every lying spirit, every hypocrisy, tear them down. Let's believe for once. Let's know where your problem lies so that we can help. Take this camouflage off. Believe. You can talk church. He's judging you. He's judging you. You can be churchy. How much of church is in you? You are married as if you are not 
marriage. You are married, but marriage is not in you. Let's believe. You are married and you are still single. Do you know what I mean? I said, no, my money is still my money. That's what, that's what, no, no, my money is my money. No, it's my money. I can go anywhere, I can come here anytime. Really? Really? And then you say, I do? To what? To what? Let's believe. Don't say you are married. If you are not, let's not, you are not married. If you are married, stay in marriage and enjoy the marriage. You will enjoy your marriage. Amen. I know you are not married there, but you will enjoy your marriage. Amen. I say you will enjoy your marriage. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's believe. I love that brother last week. He said, I didn't only pass through KLS. KLS passed through me. Oh my God, that was the message for the day for me. Many people go to school and the school never pass through them. They may have first class, it doesn't matter. But does the school pass through you? How do I know? Education is only a template. It's only a template. On how to understand life and use it for the betterment of the society. That's education. I see many people who are well educated, but they are very raw and rough. They are not polished at all. No polish. They are not polished. The way they talk. You say, what? Did you don't go to school? Really? You might have gone to Harvard. Did Harvard pass through you? Did it pass through you? Let's come to terms. God's people. Let's come to terms. Let's come to terms. And let's believe. So that we can help you. Praise God. Amen. In my family, I mean, all, all of us, we have been through careless. Kingdom Life School, we all of us will be. And some who are not there still, they are graduating now. So, anytime anybody says something that is contrary to the tenet of KLS, Kingdom Life School, maybe somebody say, I have a headache. You know, we say, Hey, KLS. <laughs> By the time I say KLS, or mom say KLS, they understand. You don't say it as it is, you say it as it should be. Kingdom language. When we say KLS, if they don't understand, we say kingdom, because kingdom language is a course that they have to take. That you don't say it as it is, you say it as it should be. They clearly the head from the beginning. So we probably beat ourselves by KLS. A man got home, he didn't know how acid water got into the fridge in a, in a white, uh, in a white uh, container. Thought it was water, a cold water, and he wanted to drink. He didn't know for I maybe mean, the children put it there. And there was no light in that country. Go some country. There was no light. So as he went inside and say, take the thing and put it in the cup. And he began to drink. He didn't know he was drinking electrolyte. The thing has touched his mouth and the thing was going down. By the time he looked at ah! instead of saying, I'm drinking acid. Or he let he said, I'm drinking water. I'm drinking water. He, he didn't continue drinking, so he dropped it. <laughs> but the little one that has got is a water, 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 water. End of story. Now that is something that should destroy and, and, and shatter all the intestine. He didn't go to hospitals, sir. Domino lifestyle. He called it as it should be. You know why? When we pick it from the freezer, from the freezer, he thought it was picking water. But now that it's not water, it must be water. So that was how he escaped. But for people of this side of it, that is, oh my God, oh, this is a, this is a sin. This is ah, for the one Touch. 
You are a strange species. Yes, yes, yes. You are of a strange order. Yes, yes, yes. Dominion. Dominion. Let's go to the second one as I close screen. Number two, how to walk in dominion. So, number one, have a working relationship with God. Don't fake it. Don't fake it. Don't fake it. Be genuine in your work with God. And one humorous thing about God is this. The Lord will put you in a caution. Every encounter of it will have no bearing on you. Because in caution, light, darkness on the other side. In caution, everything is like they never experienced all the plagues that were in Egypt. Yet in the same meeting, you are in this world, you are not of this world. You are not of this world. The Lord will bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hebrew 11, 32 and 33. Let's see how the people who had dominion, how they conquered. With dominion myself. How much more do I need to say? It will take me too long, that's Paul speaking, as they were listing all the heroes of faith. It will take me too long to begin to recount the story of the faith of people like Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel, and all the prophets. May your name come in in this list. I said, may your name come on this list. I said, may your name come on this list. Etc. Etc. By how can go give me the next one? Verse 33. By the faith of these people, they overthrew kingdoms, they ruled with justice, they received what God had promised them. They shut up the mouth of lions. The next verse, they quenched every fiery dart of fire. They subdue fire. Can you imagine say crack the shack and I'm ready to go? If I don't think people, people who crank the furnace, they were consumed. People who were carrying them into the fiery furnace, the heat and the radiation smote them. And they died. But the people that were inside, because they were carrying the greater one on the inside, he said, When you pass through fire, I will be with you. So the fourth man who was inside them came out of them and he began to shut down the furnace. Are you with me, George? The greater one is on your inside. When the issue of life arises, the greater one will emerge. He said, We threw four, three men, three men. But there are four. Mm. How did the four man came? He came from inside. Mm. Greater one is on your inside. Hallelujah. Anytime the need arises, it will show up. Amen. In your exam, it will show up. Amen. Look at it, that Lizzie. When that accident was coming, the greater one came up. Hallelujah. He said, No, stop it there. Even though the devil was present there, said, He said, Stop there. Mm. You know, the greater one will emerge. Amen. It will show up on your behalf. Amen. Pastor Nola was telling us last week, and she just said, When God shows up, He will show you off. Ah, yes. I speak unto somebody's life here in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will show up for you. Amen. God will show up for you. Amen. The many days of this year, my God will show up for you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I feel like stopping here. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet in the name of Jesus. Hold somebody else's hand.
like you don't know which way to go. You will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way. Walk here in it. In your exam, at that interview, in your, in your place of work, my God will show up for you. Jesus will show up for you. He will put his glory on display in you and through you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Come on, in Jesus, mighty name, we pray. And they threw Daniel as well into the den of lions. And they put those lions on a fast so they've not eaten for days so that they could feast properly on the flesh of daniel and as soon as they threw him there the greater wound emerged and they said ah we are not having cracking of bones they expect that his bones your bone will not be broken sir. he suffered not he's only one to see corruption daniel got there he made them his cushy. He closed, he shut up the mouth of the lion. And he said, Daniel, is your God whom you serve able to save you? He said, My God has sent his angel. And he has delivered me and shut the mouth of lion. Lift up your hands to heaven. Every lion like warning against your children, against your marriage, against your career, against your finances. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I shut your mouth in the name of Jesus. They brought down Daniel. The people who conspired against him, they said, No, you can't survive this. Because if lion lost his grip on them, you must be lying. So you go inside. They brought those guys into the den of lion. But before they landed, the lions were already feasting. Oh, come on, I said, The lions were already feasting. They were already cracking their bones. Listen to this. The Lord asked me to tell you. You are in the den of lion right now. But you won't be too long there. Amen. You won't be too long there. Amen. You are in the fiery furnace. The fourth man will show up for you. Amen. You won't be too long in that furnace. Amen. I say you won't be too long in that furnace. He said, even though you brought us into the furnace of affliction, you have tried us. I just want you to remain steady and steadfast. You are coming out stronger. I say you are coming out stronger. In the name of Jesus. I tear down every camouflage. I tear down every hypocrisy. Every life spirit I cause. We are imagined as a man. Of God in the name of Jesus, Amen. you will hear his voice Amen. because he knows you, Amen. and you will follow him. Amen. Lord, you will enjoy our followership. Amen. We will follow you Amen. all the days of our lives. Amen. Thank you, awesome God. You, Put your hands together. Amen.